Hey guys, what's going on? I am recording you on my DJI, look at the contrast, DJI Osmo Action. You are sitting on top of my Canon AE-1 um, film camera. It's my dad's old camera. I had this thing CLA'd uh, and totally repaired during coronavirus pandemic early in like March when it first started shutdowns. So um, this is my first time putting a roll through it. This is part of like the whole new channel thing. I'm in a uh, suburban downtown area here. It's pretty desolate right now because of the lockdown stuff that's going on, but I want to walk around I got a roll of Ilford XP2. It's a color negative or C41 processing black and white film. Inside this, I'm shooting on the uh, basically kit lens that came with this Canon AE1, which is a 50 millimeter f1.8. And I'm putting you guys on top of my camera, I'm walking around and taking some photos, a little BTS stuff. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna show you the good, the bad, the ugly. And um, yeah, just a, a little different style this time. So uh, come along with me. All right, we are about to go walk around. I am, uh, like I said, on Ilford XP2. So it looks better this way. Shooting um, at box speed ISO 400. The fastest this camera goes is shutter speed 1000. So I'm gonna shoot many of these photos at F8 or F11. That's the proper exposure. Let's get started. <laughs>
was gonna grab a picture of you guys, then it's okay. Yeah, no problem. Hey. Yeah, let's see. I'll we'll stay six feet away, right? Yeah, yeah that's all right. This is a good customer of mine, so she's good. I trust her. Awesome. Thanks, guys. No problem. Thank it's film, so I'll show you otherwise, but. All right, guys, uh, I'm back. I just got done finished shooting. Just got back, finished shooting. Um, and I just finished off this roll of XP2. Uh, I just want to get out there and shoot. So first thing, the camera, um, this thing operates so much smoother, like brand new. All the seals are replaced. I haven't seen the photos, so hopefully there's no light leaks. Um, this, 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 the advanced lever, the shutter, the way the door pops off, everything is really, really good. So the guy who worked on this seems to have done a really good job making this thing which was kind of crusty uh look and feel and act pretty much like brand new so that's really really cool um in terms of how i felt about this whole thing this city um here in michigan is usually a bit busier especially on fridays because of pandemic it wasn't and so not a lot of opportunities to shoot uh people like in traditional street photography um a lot of just architecture and other things that were that i took pictures of I'm not expecting this to be um, some kind of like monumental thing, but I, I want to get out there and shoot and encourage you guys to go out there and shoot. Uh, what was cool was that couple at the end uh, just kind of say, hey, don't worry about it. Take a picture. They're super cool with it. Uh, looks like the guy owned the business there. And so obviously he's trying to do everything he can to stay open and stay stay solid during these times. Um, in terms of my muscle memory, right? I have to remember that every time I change the scenario, the metering is going to change. When I shot that couple, and I haven't seen the picture, obviously, um, I was definitely overexposed, or I'm sorry, underexposed by a couple stops there because of how I left the aperture um, on the lens. And I noticed I did that like, probably a handful of times. So let's see how the pictures show up where I should have been at F8, I was at F16, or if I should have been at F11, I was at F4. So some of these shots can be overexposed, some of be underexposed, but I'm going to show you guys every single shot. Um, the only correction I'm going to do to them at all is uh, just kind of straighten some things a little bit. And if I have the ability to pull the exposure back up or down to make sure it works, um, I'm going to do that. So uh, really, really cool. I, I hope you guys like that. I'll say one other thing. Um, when, when people were there, when I did have an opportunity to shoot some people, I got really nervous. This area, I don't think would take too kindly to uh, a camera in their face because there's so much space and distance. Like you're clearly taking a picture of that person. It's not like New York City back when pre-pandemic times or a big major city, Chicago, whatever, where people are all over the place and you can, you know, say you're shooting something else and somebody walk through your frame. You can't kind of hide behind that. So if you're taking a picture of somebody here, they're going to know you're taking a picture of them. And so I noticed that when I was, I wanted to take a picture of somebody coming in and out of a building or whatever, that uh, I kind of got a little nervous and I didn't want to do it. I don't want to cause any problems. Um, if it was in a busier city, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Um, so there's that. Anyways, I will, uh, go back to me talking here um and 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 showing you the photos after and uh i'll see you guys there this was this was fun